His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa visited today the Muharraq Municipality and met with members of the Muharraq Municipal Council. His Royal Highness reviewed a number of projects in Muharraq and directed to increase efforts regarding implementing eight development projects. He also directed the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to develop roads in Deir and Samahij areas, in addition to following up with the project of Satine Coast. His Royal Highness then directed the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure to follow up implementing these projects in cooperation with ministries and governmental bodies. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister visited Muharraq Municipality in which he held a meeting with the government officials of the service sector in the attendance of the members of the Muharraq Municipal Council and expressed the government's keenness to provide citizens with all economic and social development requirements. His Royal Highness was briefed with detailed plans of implementing a number of projects in Muharraq which were presented by the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and the Minister of Housing and directed the Ministry of Housing to cooperate with the Muharraq Municipal Council regarding a number of housing projects in Arad, Psaitin and al -Hud. For their part, the members and the chairman of Muharraq Municipal Council, Muhammad El Sinan, expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his constant support and for his keenness to follow up implementing the development projects in Muharraq.
Canada's Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiyah Palace Sudanese Ambassador to Bahrain Abdul Rahman Khalil Ahmed. He commended the work of the ambassadors in both countries and welcomed the newly appointed Sudanese Ambassador to the Kingdom, wishing him every success in his new diplomatic assignment. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of further strengthening ties between Bahrain and Sudan, which have already advanced cooperation in a number of areas and achieved particular successes within the agriculture and livestock sector. He also welcomed the Sudanese government's interest in addressing a number of regional issues and its participation in the Saudi-led military operations in Yemen. The ambassador of Sudan expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's continued support to Bahraini-Sudanese relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Qutaybiyah Palace the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Kamal bin Ahmed and Telecommunications Regularity Authority, the TRA. His Royal Highness lauded the strategy of the TRA in establishing the sustainable competitive role in the private sector and directed the authority to keep up with the latest developments regarding telecommunications to document Bahrain's achievements in this field to achieve more more progress in the market. He directed the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications to cooperate with the TRA to prepare the fourth national telecommunications plan in which it gained international recognition through His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's receiving of the ITU award. His Royal Highness lauded the role and efforts of the members of the TRA in monitoring the telecommunications sector and to meet the needs of consumers and investors. The TRA affirmed it to provide a high levels of services to achieve the goals for Bahrain and its people. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of the Royal Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a reception was held to honor the Bahrain Endurance Team who won the World Endurance Championship held recently in Chile. Also present Present at the ceremony, which was held at the royal stables, were state officials and members of the team. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa underlined the outstanding achievement by the riders of the royal team in the World Endurance Championship. His Highness also noted the remarkable progress in the endurance sport in Bahrain, resulting from the continued support by His Majesty the King. He urged the riders to continue exerting further efforts in order to maintain the achievement. His Highness said that the remarkable achievement is a matter of pride to Bahrain, stressing the need to maintain the gains achieved by the riders. On behalf of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of the Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Al Jodar, was at the airport to welcome Bahrain's endurance team, who clinched the first place in the World Endurance Championship for young and junior riders in Santiago, Chile. Al Jodar conveyed to them greetings from His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, underlining the achievement of the teams under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The Bahrain Royal Endurance Team was, were crowned champions in the team's category.
The UN country team in Bahrain held a dinner reception last night to commemorate the 17th anniversary of the establishment of the United Nations. The UN launched the global celebration under the slogan, Strong UN, Better World. The celebration in the capital Manama was attended by a number of government officials, key diplomats and the media. It shed light on the historical relationships between Bahrain and the UN. The UN country team in Bahrain held a dinner reception on Monday night to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of the United Nations. The UN launched the global celebrations under the slogan, Strong UN, Better World. The celebration in the capital Manama was attended by a number of government officials, key diplomats and the media. It shed light on the historical relationship between Bahrain and the UN. On one hand, many Bahrainis played an important role in the UN, possibly uh, one of the most important ones at one moment. Uh, Bahrain had the presidency of the General Assembly of the United Nations, or also the Security Council, another big uh, agreement of the UN. And here Bahrain itself has, uh, from let's say, from in the country, there was a very close relationship with the UN agencies that worked here on development issues. The UN Day event comes at a busy time for the global organization, which was founded in 1945, ranging from ongoing global conflicts to an upcoming climate change conference in Paris. Just over a month ago, the UN adopted its post-2015 development agenda at this year's GA, 17 goals it aims to achieve within the next 15 years. This year is actually a very important year for the UN. We have... Uh at least two very important events uh, apart from this which is the sustainable development summit that just took place during the general assembly in new york and uh, where we agreed on a new sustainable development agenda with uh, 17 goals and all the countries have signed it and we will pursue it we also hope and that may be i think the most important gift to the 70 years of un on an agreement on climate change in December at the Conference of Parties in Paris. The UN is made up of 193 member states, and the mission and work of the world body are guided by the charter signed 70 years ago. It takes action on the issues confronting humanity with regards to peace and security, climate change, human rights, terrorism, governance, and more. We celebrate this 70 years of creation, the, the, the organization, serving the people all over the globe, serving the needy people, serving the people who are facing terror, facing insecurity. And we, we've worked a lot with all the member states to be sure that this mandate, which is given to the United Nations by the member states, uh, incorporated in the charter to be implemented. The UN was born of a perceived necessity and as a means of better resolving international conflict and negotiating peace. Tonight, and 70 years after the formation of the United Nations, was an opportunity to take a step back and reflect on the enduring achievements of the world governing body. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. An art exhibition with a philanthropic purpose entitled Letters of Hope opened last night in Manama. Here's more with Danielle Deporto. Located at Moda Mall, between the towers of the Bahrain World Trade Center, is an exhibition of over 40 colorful artworks called Letters of Hope. While the paintings support awareness of breast cancer, all proceeds from their sale will be donated to the Bahrain-based Child's Wish Society. Letters of Hope is the brainchild of Bahraini artist, philanthropist and cancer survivor Diana Al Sheikh. Each artwork representing uh, a keyword to support can cancer patients. It's like uh, to give them hope and support and uh, faith uh, and never give up. So each artwork carry a word like hope, faith, but it's in Arabic calligraphy. Uh, and it's uh, acrylic on canvas. Letters of Hope was inaugurated by Information Affairs Minister Isi bin Abdurrahman Al Hamadi, who described the event as a message to all private and public entities as well as individuals to contribute to charitable and humanitarian causes. Bahrain's Child Wish Society supports more than 500 children suffering from chronic ailments and other special needs. It's the beginning. Uh, I hope to do more of these uh, uh, exhibitions. I think my next exhibition will be a photography photography of places I took uh, uh, shots uh, during my treatment. 
uh, outside Bahrain. So hopefully it's, it's the beginning. We need to do more of these uh, exhibitions or charity uh, events because this is a wonderful cause. And uh, actually, I, I'm, I'm really surprised of how much I support I, I got from all the people here. Excellent. The exhibition will run until Saturday 31st, with paintings selling fast in support of these particularly worthy causes. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto.